Well, if you were thinking about running for Parliament, it's too late. Nominations for candidates in the general election have closed. And the list is expected to produce more female and ethnic minority MPs than ever before. Joining me now is Katie Ghosh, who is a Chief Executive of the Electoral Reform Society. And we've got also some analysis from on prospective MPs in the 632 constituencies, uh, which has produced a likely makeup of the Parliament, uh, obviously depending on who wins. Uh, this is what the Insight Consulting Group found. And we can look, first of all, at women MPs, up from 148 to... 205, of course, that's still less than a third, but a pretty significant jump. It is a significant sign of progress, and it's a bit more optimistic than what we're predicting. We're saying around 192 MPs, but as you've said, that still wouldn't even take us to a third, which I think just shows how unreflective our Parliament still is of society at large. And why, why has there been this increase? I mean, are, are the parties trying, uh, in, in the sense of making an effort rather than uh, exasperating? The, the parties are trying. I think they are making real efforts. Um, but of course, what really matters is putting women in safe seats. I think the parties are doing better at putting them in winnable seats, some of the marginals. We have an electoral system that obviously encourages a culture of lots of safe seats where you have incumbents, mainly men who've been there for many decades. And I think until we sort of see a change to that, we're not really going to have the chance for parties to do the right thing, if you like, and, and have a real jump in women. Do we know if, if you have a woman candidate, are you more likely or less likely to be elected? Uh, we don't know, but what we do know, which is encouraging, is that women are certainly seen every bit as favourably uh, as men. Um, so I, I guess that's a, yeah. a good sign if okay, you like. Okay, and let's look at uh, black and minority ethnic MPs, again, uh, anticipating a considerable increase there. Yes, what I'm interested about that figure, though, is that, again, if Parliament was to reflect the number of, of non-white people in our population, uh, guess how many MPs there would be from non-white backgrounds? It would be 84. So a progress is really being made, but we're not seeing a parliament that really reflects modern yeah. Britain. Today. I mean, I think it was only 1983 when uh, black and minority ethnic MPs were elected for the first time since uh, the Victorian age. So uh, it's, it's been a fairly rapid move. Again, can we yes. say one party is doing better than any of the others? Or? Um, it's really difficult to say because the nominations have only just closed. We've not been able to kind of really crow closely sort of pour over all those um, figures yet. But I think, again, it's an area where the parties are really realising that they have got to do more. And I think the reason is this, that when people are asked why they're so fed up with politics yeah. and party politics, one of the strongest reasons they give is that Parliament yeah. doesn't look and feel like them. I mean, I should say these are just provisional figures, A, because we don't know who's actually going to win the election, and B, because we haven't done the full analysis, as you say, of the the uh, final figures today, but I think there's one more just about the uh, background of MPs. Now, this is interesting. Um, Oxbridge graduate MPs, pe uh, people who have been to Oxford and Cambridge, Labour slightly more than a quarter, uh, Conservatives about a fifth, uh, but more. Oxbridge graduates than, for example, black and ethnic MPs. Absolutely. And there's a, there's a bigger issue here as well which people comment on, which is, um, first of all, so many more people who've, who've done nothing but politics in their life going into Parliament, and there's been a real increase of those over the last 10 to 20 years. But also, again, in terms of social class, social backgrounds, we don't have a Parliament that has people from every walk of life. We're a very long way off that. In, in, in some ways, we've gone backwards on that, I think. I'm right we say. have, certainly in terms of people from, from kind of, who've had experience of a manual job, if you like. Okay, guys, thank you very much indeed.